Hi everyone, Amy Love here, and I am here today to share with you an altered jar I did. Um, I just finished it today, so excuse all the paint on my fingers. Um, I joined a swap uh, in a Facebook group I'm in, and I will link that group uh, below. And it was to alter a mason jar and create a small tag to go with it. And uh, I didn't use a mason jar, however, because my mason jars are indispensable to me. Uh, for canning and preserving food. So I did uh, recycle a honey jar that I had and I uh, painted it and it distressed it. I added some crackle to it and then I decoupaged these beautiful um, angel napkins on there. They're so cute. And then I surrounded them with this beautiful cup chain that I get from Angel Dream Crafts rhinestone cup chain it comes in pink and silver in her store so cute so I added that and then I added a couple of heart appliques then I decided to go around the top with a couple of my favorite um, angel dream crafts uh, trim laces and I used the uh, pleated tool trim in beige or tan or cream or whatever color you want to call that I forget how it's listed in the shop and then I also used this adorable um, cream-colored scalloped eyelet that I just love. So I gathered it around the top and I just did two layers of each of those trims. Then I finished it off with this braid trim. And then I made a seam binding bow and dangled some pearls and then added this adorable little flower from Angel Dream Crafts. And I also put some uh, pearl sprays behind it. I just think it's, it's so cute. It's so, so cute. And you could put a battery um, tea light in here and it would be a, just, it would glow beautifully. You know what, I do have a real candle I wouldn't burn a real candle for long in here though. I mean, I don't think it'll catch anything, but it might uh, melt some of the glue. I don't know, let's, let's light it up and see if we can see how pretty it would be lit up. Cause I don't have a battery operated one right now. Is it even gonna, if I turn, let me turn off all the lights <laughs> and see if we can see, oh, it's so pretty. So my camera is such a way but look how the angel lights up so sweet so I am gonna try to find a battery um, tea light to send with this because I just think it's so so super cute it looks like I'm gonna have to plug this other light back in so we can see <laughs> all right so the swap was for a jar and also for a tag. So this is the tag I created. And I used another little angel napkin, which are so cute. And then I added diamond dust and some of the rhinestone cup chain from Angel Dream Crafts. And this bow is from Angel Dream Crafts. So aren't they so sweet together? And it's been a while since I did a tutorial, so I did create a tutorial on how I created this jar. So if you're interested in any of these techniques, just stay tuned. That is coming up. And um, thank you for watching, everybody. Please leave me a comment below and give me a thumbs up. And I will see you soon. So I started by giving the jar a coat of gesso, which is just like a paint primer so that it would have good coverage and it would give me a nice surface to stick things to. So I did a coat of white gesso and then I gave it a coat of this paint. Um, I think the color of this paint is lace. I don't know, but it's kind of like a, a really light cream color. So after I got the jar completely coated, <clears throat> I wanted to give it some distress. And so I used a nail file, but I would recommend sandpaper. I just happened not to have sandpaper, so I had to I had to give a little more elbow grease with this nail file because I didn't use the sandpaper. So I just kind of went around all of the round edges and distressed it up um, because that's the look that I was going for. I 
had these beautiful angel napkins in my stash and I knew this is what I wanted to use. And excuse my cat and dog in the background, they have decided that now would be the perfect time <clears throat> to wrestle around in the living room. Okay, so I pulled the backing off of these napkins and then I just use my scissors to cut out the individual angel images. Uh, normally when I'm gonna decoupage, I would not use scissors because I wouldn't want the sharp um, edge. But since I'm gonna be covering the edges with paint, I went ahead and used scissors because it's just easier. And then I cut the uh, images into heart shapes because I knew I wanted them to be hearts. So I just used a little, uh, burlap heart I had laying around as a template and I cut them into heart shape and now I am just going to decoupage these images uh, right onto the jar and they're just so cute so you'll see that you can see the stark edges where I cut the uh, napkin but don't worry we are going to uh, cover those up and and you won't see them near as much so I'm just using a little um, saran wrap to kind of smooth my image out and then I will use some decoupage on top of it very gently because napkins tear very easily and I'm kind of starting in the middle and pulling out towards all the edges. So once I have let the uh, images dry on the jar, I'm going to come back in with that cream colored paint and I'm going to use a little sponge dauber because that's um, that works the best for me in covering up the edges and allowing me to get a little bit of a feathering technique, kind of going light, you know, in the middle and then getting heavier um, as it pounce around the outside. <laughs> so I am just going to pounce this paint on all around this image, and uh, you know, and just until you can't see the edges anymore is what I'm going for and then I will do the same to the image on the back. So now I am going to add this little crackle medium and I am going to use a small paintbrush and I am going to put on a very thin coat of this crackle medium over the entire jar. Um, this particular crackle medium, if I put it on thick, it tends to run and drip and I do not want to have any runs and drips on my jar so I'm putting a very thin layer on it. And then I'm going to let it air dry. Um, you don't want to use your heat tool to dry this. Um, you just need to let it air dry and then the crackles will form for you. And I just, oh, I love to add the crackle to the jars. Uh, so I will try to link the um, all of the products I'm using below. And of course, there will be a link to Angel Dream Crafts and a link to all the other designers. Uh, make sure you go check them out. So I will have um, all that information below in the description box for you. So 
So after it dries, look at that crackle, it's so pretty. So I am actually gonna add some Distress Ink to uh, get down in those cracks. So I'm putting it on a little heavy, but then I'm gonna come back through and wipe it off. And um, then the ink will just seep down into those cracks. And then uh, I will uh, let that dry as well. So now I am going to break out the cup chain. I love putting rhinestone cup chain on all the things. So I am going to use glossy accents. I find that it works really great at putting rhinestone cup chain on hard surfaces. So that's what we're using, glossy accents. <clears throat> and I'm just going around the image with some glossy accents and then sticking the cup chain um, down um, into the bead of glue but what I love about the glossy accents is that it is really a wet glue so you do have some time to move the things so even though rhinestone cup chain is kind of heavy it will hold the chain in place but also allow me to move it uh, where I need it so I can smooth out the edges so I just I love glossy accents uh, for this reason and plus Look at the rhinestone cup chain, so pretty. So I'm gonna do that on both sides of the jar with both of the angel images. So to adhere the, these appliques to the jar, and actually starting with some hot glue in the middle of the applique to hold it to the jar, where I want it, while I will use my glossy accents to glue down the edges of this applique. Um, one of the kind of annoying things about glossy accents though is that, <clears throat> at least for me, the applicator tends to get clogged. So I have to keep using a stick pin <laughs> to uh, open that um, nozzle back up. <laughs> but that's okay, it's worth it. The glue is great, I love this glue. So then I'm just going to smooth this applique out and I'm going to put one um, just like it on the other side. Now it's time to add the trims to the top. So I am using uh, this pleated tool trim from Angel Dream Crafts and I am just gonna adhere these with um, hot glue, which is not a problem, it should be fine. It'll hold it to the jar just fine. That's why I suggest a battery tea light. I don't know if you put in a real candle if eventually the heat would uh, loosen up that hot glue around the top, I'm not sure. So I would just stick with a battery operated tea light. It'll just be beautiful that way and no worries. So I'm gonna put on a layer of the tool trim and then I will add a layer of the um, scalloped eyelet lace. And then I will do another layer of both uh, to the top. But this layer with the, the scalloped eyelet, I'm not, uh, pleating it as I go I'm just wrapping it around but when I do the top layer I actually am gonna pleat as I go because I like that look better but I knew it wouldn't really matter with this layer because I'm gonna cover it with the tool trim anyway
So to give it a finished look, I like to put a trim, a finishing trim around the top. So for this one, I am gonna use this beautiful uh, Chinese braid. It's very, it's quite wide, but it, I love the way that it just finishes off the top of the jar. So as a final touch, I do add a seam binding bow and some pearls and a bead spray and a beautiful flower from Angel Dream Crafts. And I just love how it turned out. I think it's beautiful. I hope my swap partner loves it. And I wanna thank you all for watching and please leave me a comment below. Let me know what you think and leave me a thumbs up. And I will see you all on the next one. Thanks everybody.